today is uh, December 10th, uh, which is uh, 30 years ago today, December 10th, 2014. 30, 30 years ago, you know, they built this place, and after 30 years, uh, it's uh, been uh, one of the, uh, it's been known as one of the best uh, hotels in Palau. Uh, they uh, stay in business and employ a lot of uh, Palauans, and, and they turn this place, you know, from uh, jungle to uh, one of the most uh, beautiful resorts here in the Republic of Palau. So we're here today to celebrate the 30th anniversary of a Palau Pacific Resort. So let's go in and celebrate. Challenges include securing the land, because the land title dispute had not been through the court yet in those days. <clears throat> there were no heavy equipment or contracts on the island to do this type of quality projects, and every little thing had to be imported. This all resulted in a very high price tag of $250,000 per room for the initial 100 rooms constructed, an outrageous amount for these days. Very few investors would have taken this risk and my father was lucky to find a partner like Mr. Goto. Thanks to the vision of these two men, the Palau Pacific Resort is here today and has set the standard for high-end tourism in Palau since 1984. Today, tourism is Palau leading industry and everyone seems to agree that high-end Quality tourism should be the goal for Palau. Palau is too small and our unique environment is too fragile to support mass tourism. But the fact is that after 30 years, none of Palau's newer hotels can equal CPR standard of service and quality. And we have to ask ourselves why. <clears throat> this shows Palau still has a long way to go toward the goal of high-end tourism. And we need to know and we need to be more selective in the development of our small island. <coughs> Over the last four years, PPR has invested a lot of time, effort, and money into training Palauans for hotel and service-related jobs. A lot of Palauans and other companies have benefited from this over the years, and Palau should be thankful for this. There are several employees who after 30 years still work for PPR, which shows that they are a good employer to have. PPR has proven itself to be a good corporate citizen over the years, always participating in and sponsoring local, local events, nonprofit projects, and organizations and social events. I myself take great pride in continuing my father's relationship with PPR on behalf of my family and look forward to working closely with them for many more years to come. It is my hope Palau can find more investors like Tokyo Land Corporation who 
not only invest for short-term gain, but to have a long-term goals for sustainable tourism and development that so benefit Palau and Palauans. I started Neko Marine here at Palau Resort in 1984 from a 20-foot container with one boat. I'm proud to say that over the years it has expanded to our current five-star paddy training facility and marina in Malaco with sister companies that includes Plus Dive Center, the Aggressor and Tropic Dancers Live Aboard, Palau Hana Tours, Nekoyamaha, and the non-profit at Pisan Museum. It has also been 30 years since my wife Mindy came to live on Palau and she has published her new book for this special occasion called 30 Years Palau. Three copies are given tonight to all PPR hotel room guests and extra books are also available at the special introductory price for tonight only to everyone. So keep this in mind for your Christmas shopping. <laughs> Thank you ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the evening. I hope you will also enjoy the fresh Sabu's deep water fish, which I caught, especially for tonight's occasion. Thank you. Mr. Toshiyuki Saigusa, let's give him a big round of applause. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ungiru Kobosuke Rogui. Uh, I would like to extend our cordial welcome to His Excellency Tommy Berengeso Jr., uh, President of Palau, His Excellency High Chief Ibedu Yutaka Gibbons, and High Excellency Kasuhiro Hajiri, Ambassador of Japan, and our many honored guests. Thank you for uh, attending uh, this 30th anniversary reception show. I greatly appreciate the understanding and the cooperation of all of you, the hotel guests, the Palawan people, business-related persons, and many others. If we look back, at, uh, if we look back 35 years ago, on planning this hotel, we tried to pursue its good harmony with the Palawan nature. We, we have preserved existing trees as much as possible, and design the roof shape imitating our bike. The height of buildings set lower than coconut trees so that all buildings merge in, into palm nature. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, we told you that corporation have tried to achieve the ideal balance of development and uh, environmental conservation. Today, environmental uh, preservation is the world common high concern. It's getting more and more important. I respect very much our active approach to protecting nature. In 2012, uh, their tremendous efforts accomplished to make the milestone. Rock Island and Southern Lagoon was uh, listed registered as the world created by UNESCO. Please continue to preserve, uh, please continue to preserve this precious island and the ocean. They are the treasure of the arts. We are pleased to support your activities as much as we can, and we continue to make sincere effort to manage this Palo Pacific Resort as an eco-friendly resort. It is our pleasure that we can celebrate this 30th anniversary tonight, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate all the employees of the hotel. And uh, great partner, Mr. Sharon Epson, a uh, member of Coral Development Corporation and NECO Group. And also, I'd like to make a special mention of the understanding and cooperation of the government and the state of and local people, especially 
especially Alakabe San people. Uh, they warmly welcome this project from the very beginning. I would like to extend the gratitude of, to all of you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome the President of the Republic of Palau, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, Tommy Edemong Sal, Jr. Excuse me, if I could just put this down for a second. Thank you. Ungil ke pesengay. Minasang kung pangwa. And uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, but especially so to the management and staff of PPR and employees. A very typical PPR evening. Uh, you look out there on the horizon and you see a great sunset that they see every day. Clear skies uh, and room temperature that always wants you to order more beers and cold drinks. <laughs> but on this occasion, I do want to echo what uh, my good friend Shalom et Bishon kind of reminded us all that 30 years ago, and I think I was about two years old, <laughs> well, put a number next to it, but 30 years ago, we all heard the stories about the tough negotiations, the discussions that were being held, because in essence, this was the first of its kind to be undertaken. It was a great risk for the investors themselves and a great undertaking for the first time by their Palawan counterpart. Of course, namely Mr. Epison, and I remember Inabo, also one of the Palawan partners. The people of Ngurkab Sang were apprehensive of what such a development would mean to their village. And so after all that patience, all that persistence, they finally resolved everything in open R, uh, in PPR open to the public. And 30 years later, I must say on behalf of the people and the government of Palau that we are indeed proud and happy that persistence and patience paid off and we still have PPR today. Congratulations. But I'm, I'm made aware of one important and significant point about this ownership. Most hotel establishments by the time they reach, or they reach 30 years old would have changed ownership, changed management, changed partners. But here we are 30 years later and the same people still trade through, still stay true to their commitment and their principles. And I think that says a lot about PPR. But why is it a shining example? Very simple. They hire locals, they pay their fair share of taxes, and they are good corporate citizens. And so I can truly say that Palav has been good to PPR, and PPR has been good to Palav. In concluding my remarks, let me also say that we are here tonight not only to congratulate PPR, but to show our support for what they're committed to. And that is the commitment to provide a high-end tourist destination and resort and hospitality here. A commitment to provide service and training to our local people, because after all, who can provide the best island hospitality but the islanders themselves? And that's a very important component and something that we are proud of why PPR exists. So let me close on behalf of our government again and the people of Palau to say that we not only congratulate you, but we wish you at least 30 more years, successful years to come and well into the future. Omeleto. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Embassy of Japan to Palau, 
Ambassador Kazuhiro Tajiri. Good evening, President Ramirez, Mr. Sainisa, Mr. Epson, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Pala Pacific Resort and Neko Marine in the Republic of Pala on your 30th anniversary. Thank you so much, PIDC, for giving me this opportunity to say a few words this evening. I came to Palau early September last year. I have recognized that both PPR and Neko Marine contribute a lot to the local community. We read in the local papers numerous occasions where PPR makes donations to hospitals and other government agencies that care for the elderly and the sick. PPR sponsors many sports events, as well as sponsoring many customer service workshops to enhance local friendliness and effectiveness all around. PPR also continue to contribute to social and economical well-being of the people of Palau, for example, by employing many Palauan people. Along with Neko Marine, PPR proves to be environmentally friendly resort hotel by sponsoring various activities both on land and ocean that promotes awareness, better understanding of protection of the environment. Last but certainly not the, not the least, I would like to congratulate Ms. Mandy Epson for launching 30 years Palau book as part of today's anniversary celebration. Once again, thank you for being good role models for other business to follow. Congratulations on your 30 years of success, and I, I wish you many. You, I wish you may you many more to come. Thank you very much. Right, before uh, we move on, we kind of forgot to do this in the beginning, but if you could kindly turn around to the person next to you and shake their hands. And if you look around you, there's so much diversity inside this room. Talk about connecting Palau to the world. <laughs> so 30 years of such great service. Let's give another big round of applause to Palau Pacific Resort. And they will continue into the future. If you guys look towards the front desk area, we would like to announce the construction of five new water bungalows that will be built at the north end of the jetty. You can view the, you can view the pictures entailing what each space will look like. These water bungalows will be the first ever constructed in Micronesia aiming at providing deluxe accommodation, catering to more high-end guests. Another big round of applause, guys. I would like to welcome Senator Philip Proply. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What's so good about the resolution is it will be kept in a permanent record for the people who are involved in this beautiful hotel that always bring high value customers in high end homes. This resolution was passed by uh, Palau Legislature, especially it was introduced in the Senate, passed in the Senate and then forward to the House of Representatives, so it was approved unanimously by the House. And this is a Senate Joint Resolution 9-42 SD1, a Senate Resolution, a Senate Joint Resolution to recognize and congratulate Palau Pacific Resort on celebrating its 30th anniversary of serving the international travel community 
while benefiting people of the Republic of Palau. Whereas the Pacific uh, Island Development Corporation with Tokyo Land Corporation, as its client company was incorporated in November 1973 by the government, then still trust territory of the Pacific Island. Whereas in 1979, Pacific Island Development Corporation leased land with Ngilakil Episo, that's uh, Shialung's father, and Inabo Katsumi in this community of Larkansang, which is part of Koror. Whereas in 1983, Pacific Island Development Corporation began construction in Palau to build what we call today Palau Pacific Resort Complex. Whereas the Republic of Palau is very thankful for the vision of both Chairman Noboru Koto and the late President Kiratele Piso, which made this concept a reality to benefit of the entire Republic of Palau. Whereas on December 10, 1984, the Palau Pacific Resort opened for business offering 100 rooms hotel, two dining facilities, bar services, and beautiful salon, dive shop, and retail outlets along with other amenities such as swimming pool, tennis courts, related beach resort, activity and facilities. Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort celebrated its 10th anniversary on December 10, 1994 by opening 60 new hotel rooms and by opening a new fitness center and spa with two chikushi and by opening and extend the beachfront dining terrace for the main restaurant. Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort was managed by Pan Pacific Hotel and Resort. This is a hotel management company specialized in resort hotel operations in 11 countries along the Pacific Rim. And in 1908, in January, the Palau Pacific Resort win itself from the Pan Pacific Hotels and Resort Management, and since then have been operating by itself with its own ownership. Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort has been committed to providing the best hospitality experience possible, providing first-class accommodation and services for international and local hotels guests, all while delivering personalized care and service to guests and customers. Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort has contributed to social and economic well-being of the people of the Republic of Palau, by providing international community with first class destination, which resort that has received international praise and recognition, and has brought favorable recognition and attention to the Republic of Palau as desirable world class tourist destination. And whereas the Palau Pacific Resort has also contributed to the social and economic well-being of the people of the Republic of Palau by providing resort hotel facilities that are available for local use and by following hotel facilities to be used for conference, meeting, sports event, beauty pageant, and other gatherings. Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort made environmentally friendly business decision by installing solar panels, recycling raw materials, from food and compost soil to their garden after processing. Investing in recycling machines that convert discarded plastics into oil for education purpose, like I Love Masagiu. That's a Dubong awareness campaign in the Palau web database for Manta identification project by protecting the Palau Pacific Resort Marine Sanctuary that surround the resort. Whereas Palau Pacific Resort has scheduled a monthly management and staff, staff trip to Ulong Island for beach cleanup, upgrading signings at the historical site, installing rope and the rail to stone wall for guest safety, while learning historical significance of Palau rich culture. 
Whereas the Palau Pacific Resort operations directly benefit the people of the Mipati of Palau by employing over 200 people, Palauans, and by participating in local economic, economic community as a large-scale consumer. Whereas the Republic of Palau desire to, have, to express its recognition and to the Palau Pacific Resort, Pacific Island Development Corporation, and the FPCO family, and for the successful completion of 30 years of dedicated services and for their contribution to the Republic of Palau and to the international travel community. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Senate of the Nine Olvira Palulao with the House of Delegate concurring that the Nine Olvira Palulao on behalf of the people of the Republic of Palau hereby congratulate the Palau Pacific Resort Pacific Island Development Corporation for providing first class for all renowned beach resorts and related facilities which has benefited the people of the Republic of Palau directly and indirectly. Be it further resolved that a certified copy of this joint resolution be transmitted to the management of the Palau Pacific Resort, Mr. Petsuro Aki, Chairman of the Pacific Island Development Corporation, Mr. Masake, excuse me, Mr. Toshiyuki Saeguza, President of Tokyo Land Corporation. Mr. Ichiro Umehara, President of Pan Pacific Hotels and Resort. Mr. Shalom Pison, Chairman of the Poror Development Corporation and Vice President of the Pacific Island Development Corporation. Ms. Nancy Wong, Director of Poror Development Corporation. His Excellency Kazuhiro Taziri, Ambassador to Ambassador Extraordinary Plenipotentiary of Japan to the Republic of Palau. His Excellency Tamir Munsao Jr., President of the Republic of Palau, and the Honorable Kamsik Kulyaski, President of the Senate of the Ninth Olvira Kululau, and the Honorable Sabino Anastasio, Speaker of the House of Delegate Olvira Kululau. This resolution was adopted on December 4, 2014, and it was signed, attested by President of the Senate, Speaker of the House, and also the Clerk of the Senate, and Mati, Mati Pedro, and Acting Clerk, House of Delegate, Marcelo Miragelo. President, this is the end of the resolution, but I would like to share with you my personal thoughts with the about PPR. We all came up with a, a brand for Palau and we decided to call that brand of Palau Pristine Palau Pristine Paradise Palau. And seriously, on the serious side of this, when you take a look of Palau Pacific Resort, it actually depicted the actual name. So for the guests here tonight from abroad, welcome and thank you for joining us to honor this 30th anniversary of PPR. Thank you. Also at this time, I would like to call on uh, Saeguza, President of uh, Tokyo Land Corporation. Come forward. Our next um, resolution is from the 10th Floor State Legislature. And uh, before we present the resolution, uh, I'll read the resolution for you guys. And since we're from the states, it's a little shorter than the national. <laughs> so bear with me. The 10th Aurora State Legislature acknowledges the 30th anniversary of the Palau Pacific Resort 
and to recognize the contributions of the resort to tourism in the state of Koror and for related purposes. On December 10, 1984, the Palau Pacific Resort was completed under the management of Pacific Island Development Corporation. The resort offers first-class guest services and facilities and has served to promote Palau in the international tourism community as a world-class world destination. The Palau Pacific Resort contributes to the local economy by employing over 200 Palauan citizens and it is a large-scale consumer which utilizes local goods and services. The resort has made environmentally friendly businesses, business decisions by installing solar energy panels and sponsoring local conservation projects for the Palau Conservation Society and the Edpiso Museum, as well as scheduled mon monthly employee trip to Ulong Island to clean, upgrade signs, and repair rope for trail to ensure safety and preserve the historical and cultural significance, significance of our rock islands. And I was there to witness them as they learned about the new caves in Ulong. So that's really cool. That the people of the state of Koror represented in the 10th Koror State Legislature hereby formally acknowledge the 30th anniversary of the Palau Pacific Resort and congratulate Pacific Islands Development Corporation on their 30 successful years of continuous service to international tourists. Let's give them a big round of applause. And here to present the award is legislator, legislator Ignacio Rumulbay. Presenting the award to the Managing Director of Tokyo Land Corporation, Mr. Hironori Nishikawa. And this little girl might be helping too.